Hi everyone, Esteban here at Flexplate headquarters. So I've been working with these Katakuri stations, really uh, happy with the outcome. Uh, lots of learning, a lot of information been gathered. So I wanna go ahead and share that with everybody with uh, the Katakuri system here, okay? So uh, I made a, a version one before, very big with a, more of a handle to use the mechanism, but now we've uh, fine-tuned that a little bit, so I just wanna show you guys the new improvements. So we've added the pulley system. Again, the pulley system just helps everything gets lifted back into place. You could probably do that with a counterweight as well. It's just I have one of these lying around, so why not use it? Uh, again, I made a pedal to be able to uh, basically put everything in the down, have everything clear, engaged, so basically bins can come out, go into their place, transition from one to the other. At the same time that we're pressing down, we have a, a lift wheel here that is putting the bins back in order to give the clearance for the individual bin to go ahead and drop down without having it get cluttered with the other ones following it behind. So that little lift wheel here, uh, very important. Um, again, good little detail there that uh, makes a big difference when you're dealing with these types of structures, okay? So again, that lifts it up and then pulley system is going to bring it back up. Everything is in transition. Again, we're doing level changes, so there has to be a good clearance and it all has to make sense. If not, one is gonna get stuck where it shouldn't. So that's again, all those little minor adjustments that even though I drew this on the computer and it looked great, um, there was modifications and adjustments that are just yes or yes, they have to happen. And uh, I really think that when you're making these types of structures, it should really be made on the spot at your facility so that you can truly, really understand in real time what's happening uh, with the relationship between the surfaces, the parts, the bins, whatever it is, and the relationship that is having with the different transitions and clearances and everything else that those you can only really see on the spot, okay? So again, pedal drops it down, pulley brings it up. We got a lift wheel to keep things in place. Everything here uh, is connected. So everything is going to interfere with what else is going on. So if I adjusted something here, it's going to interfere with what's going on here, with what's going on there. So it's very little minor adjustments that you really have to keep track of in order to not get lost in all of the different uh, uh, angles and things that are moving because there's a lot of things going on here. So you really need to go step by step. But again, if you have any questions, you can always uh, give us a call and we can, we can help you out with all those types of details. Um, when should you use something like this? Again, this is 48 inches left to right. Um, so I think about it, one, two, three, four levels there. So I think maybe four, four levels, 48. So, you know, 16 feet linear length. That's a lot. That's a lot of real estate that a lot of people probably do not have nowadays. So again, how can we get away with, uh, with what we need to do if we don't have, in, in this case, 16 feet to be able to just have a nice linear length uh, transition from point A to point B, example. So. Why not, instead of thinking linear, let's think of vertical. And in this case, we've basically brought everything together, tight, compact, into a 48 by 48. And now we have all that, uh, uh, rather, we don't have all that space, but we have just this limited space and we're able to do what we need to do, which is basically get from point A to point B uh, in a very nice, efficient way. Um, when we're dealing with this, we're using our uh, standard tracks. We have the, uh, the slim roller track as well as the wide foot roller track. I use them just to see how it changes the, uh, the setup. And then with the surfaces or the HDPE, they glide really well. I think that it's really mostly when you're dealing with boxes that that's kind of when uh, you, you do need a little bit more adjustments. I feel that the boxes, uh, the surface or the texture of the box softens it and it really wants to break it down. So you may need to adjust the actual slope of your transitions in order to accommodate those boxes. Again, this is why I feel that these type of structures should be made uh, at your facility in the sense that you can really test it out because you really need to have the individual part that's going to be used for in order to really understand how to be as efficient as possible. Uh, again, everything is just held together in place. We're using guides to keep things from slipping out. We're using uh, stoppers in order to prevent as well, just as a prevention uh, in case it was to shoot out. We just have a little stopper here just to be able to prevent it from flying completely out, although we do have the tab stops. But again, it's just little things that I've added that I wanted to mention uh, so that everybody can think about. So again, Recap, right, we wanna, we don't have 
linear length. We can think about using a katakuri to think height-wise or vertical length. Um, from there, surfaces, really understand what it is that you're trying to move uh, and then begin to test that out as well. We need the wheel in order to bring things back. Uh, it's either a pulley or a counterweight system in order to engage and, and have that mechanism work nice and smoothly so you're not having to use your uh, foot to lift everything up. Uh, so that's kind of the idea there. And then me, uh, just a little foot pedal was more than enough in order to uh, do what I needed to do. Again, this is just a, a good example. Um, so I'll be making more of these along the way and sharing all of that new information with everybody. So again, if you have any questions, let us know. We're more than happy to help you guys. Super cool. And if you have any information that I could uh, use as well for making these, I would love to hear it. Uh, always a fan of learning new things. So that's it for today. Uh, everybody hope you enjoyed and again if you have any questions let us know uh, and take care and I'll see you guys on the next one